Hey there, Foxy Gamers, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Today we are going to finish this milestone. And I also think, let's see, did we, did we grab enough cables here? 200, yes. Uh, I also think we should build a workshop today. So that way we can get ourselves a chainsaw, because I realized that... Um, you know, we're gonna be needing to get some more bio stuff here pretty soon. Oh, right, right, right. We need some wires too. We're gonna need to get some more biomass, and like, the easiest way that it's gonna be for us to do that on this map is by actually chopping down trees, which we're going to need a chainsaw for. Uh, but before we do that here, we want to make sure- we have enough copper wire to last us for a little while. But I want to make sure that not all of this is going to get turned into cables. So we should probably set up another smelter and another constructor. Let's see if we have enough for all of that here. This handy dandy little task list is very nice for that. So let's see. Smelter. Constructor. Nope. We don't have enough stuff for it. Um, we're also going to need... A conveyor splitter and maybe a merger so we can put it into the same box with the cable and then you know just make sure we have enough of this here for our conveyor belts oh look at that they changed the way the power pole works did they oh look at yeah it looks different they didn't change the way it works probably just the way it looks? I don't know. I don't see a one out of four on there anymore. Huh. So they did just release the uh, update three on the regular build. Like, I've been playing experimental, and now it's out on the regular build. So either they made a little addition to the update three, or because I'm on experimental build, this is a new thing in that. So interesting. Can we endlessly connect? Nope. Nope. We cannot. Okay. So that is still there. I guess it's only when we ho hover over it with a power line. Um, but interesting. They have a, a new look. I actually kind of like it. I think it looks cooler. The other ones were just kind of like they looked sort of ugly once you got a whole bunch of them in a group, so that's that's pretty cool. All right, let's see here. Oop, we want the craft bench, so we need to make some reinforced iron plates in order to get ourselves a constructor. We're just gonna make a couple extras here. There we are. Drop off any of these parts that we have enough of yet. Oh my gosh, we still need a lot of screws and some more iron rods. And I probably just got rid of all the stuff <laughs> that I needed to go make my constructor. Alright, I'm going to go run by our iron setup and pick up a whole bunch of stuff from there. Okay, I grabbed what we needed for the remainder of this milestone. So we'll go ahead and launch that off. Milestone reached. So now, now we have... Parts can now be automated. Project yes. assembly parts can now be constructed and Okay, so now we can elevator. make ourselves Note, an assembler. Awesome. Wait, what did it say? Something something by hand. I don't know. Maybe uh that it takes a long time. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Yeah, okay, that takes a really long time. We're not going to do that. But, alright, so now we can make assemblers, which will allow us to automate the creation of reinforced iron plate. And there goes our electricity. Ah, uh, bummer. Alright, we need to take care of that next. We probably just ran out of fuel, which means we're gonna be, um... Oh, we already turned all that into biomass. Okay. Can we make biofuel yet? No, just biomass. Okay. 
Um, yeah, we're gonna need to be running around getting some more biofuel, which is kind of a pain, but that is the name of the game this early on. Oh, there you go. Now, can we turn this back on? Fingers crossed. Yes. All right. We're almost out of power as it is. Like, it, it's approaching when everything's running. That's getting pretty high up there. So let's see what it is going to take for us to get some better biofuel. I can't remember if that's, like, an upgrade that we're going to need here. Or if that's just something that comes with um, getting our workbench set up here. All right, tier two, obstacle clearing. Ah, there we are. That's exactly what we need right here. So that should be our next one. I don't remember this being here last time. Did this change? Huh. Interesting. All right, well, anyway, that's going to be the one that we select. And, oh, we can't add anything just yet because we're waiting for our pod to return in a few minutes. But, we should have enough um, ingredients left here. So we'll go pick up our screws. Hopefully it's made enough screws since we came over here. I picked up 500 last time and it had almost half a stack ready to go after that so we should be okay there and um we can also set up ah fantastic we can also set up our other constructor over at the the copper side of things so that way we can be creating wire in addition to our cables whoops and of course i can never remember which one is where our copper is so i guess i'll just follow the power lines except is that our limestone yes okay here's our copper oh man the space is so big already and by big I mean just spread out it's not like big and impressive yet but it's definitely spread out okay so we got our cables and I am just going to wave my magic wand and set up our extra constructor so boom there we go so while that is all fine and dandy here what i did realize is that i don't think we're actually gonna have enough power to run all this we can give it a try though i think can i reset my grid from this power pole let's find out oh that's so cool there's like a little uh electrical box on here now um no i cannot Wait, how about from here? No. All right. Huh, did they change that? I feel like we used to be able to like reset our, our breaker from power poles, but maybe not. All right, so we actually have to reset that from our base, which might actually be incentive to sprinkle around your like power stuff because if we're like all the way out in the goonies and we need to reset our electricity we're not going to be able to do that we're going to have to run all the way back to our hub in order to access that um yeah so for now we we did set that up with all the appropriate things aside from some power poles i could just set them to off but i chose to not connect the power poles uh because we're gonna need to have another biomass burner which i kind of want to wait to do until we've got some better biofuel going because otherwise i'm just going to be running around doing that forever and ever all right so now milestone reached Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency to add in biofuel production to keep them moving foliage. Okay. You are now capable of removing foliage. R&D inflated your pocket. <laughs> nice. Additionally, okay. R&D inflated your pocket dimension. So, we need eight biomass to make that, which means we're going to need to build ourselves a uh, chainsaw and so I think we need 
an equipment workbench. Fortunately, we have all the necessary ingredients for that. So let's put this over here. I, I don't know if that's where I want to put it, but it's easy enough to jump. Oh, is it though? Is it easy enough to jump in and out of? Yeah, okay, that'll be fine. And wait, wait a second, portable miner. I feel like we were making portable miners earlier. Did I craft a workbench and not realize it? Or did the game... Oh, I think maybe the game gave us a bunch of portable miners to start with, which is not how it originally was. So that's where that came from. Okay. Ah, we need more screws and three more reinforced iron plates. Let's see if we have enough for that right here. Yes, we do. But that means we're going to need even more screws. All right. And let's see. So now we just need uh, 60 more screws, 59 more screws. That should be fine. I'm going to go run over <laughs> once again, more running over to our iron source here and pick up those screws. Oh man, when this thing landed the first time, it scared the crap out of me. I thought I was being invaded and I didn't realize that that's the thing that they send off every time you complete a research to, I guess, send out the probe and yeah, I don't exactly know how all that works. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it is a friendly unit and there is no reason to be afraid. Okay, so there we go. We've got ourselves a chainsaw. And I believe in order to power the chainsaw, we need, uh, oh, I guess I have two hand slots now. Cool. Yeah, there we go. Cool looking little chainsaw. We need biofuel for the chainsaw. Let's see if we have enough here. Uh, wait, biomass. Did I use all of our, oh no. Did I use all of our biomass? Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, I guess we gotta go run and get some vegetation by hand real quick before we can power our chainsaw. There's a little critter over there I don't care to deal with. All right, so the closest vegetation is way over yonder this way. Well, in hindsight, I probably should have just stolen some biomass from our burners, but instead I decided to run way over in BFE and pick up some brand new biomass by hand, only to return later with our chainsaw. But at least that way our base can keep going and I don't have to hopefully worry about it shutting down while we're gone. Oh my god, this takes so long to make by hand. We're definitely going to want to be automating this. At least it is giving us like four per craft, but that's still pretty obnoxious. The chainsaw is a whole lot of fun though, and I will show you that momentarily. Okay, let's see. How do I power this? I forget. We have our biofuel here. No, that's not... Oh, oh, right. We gotta equip it first. And then... Oh, okay. We don't actually have to do anything other than have the biofuel in our inventory. I feel like in the past, you actually had to, like, equip it in a slot on the chainsaw with biofuel. So maybe they changed that. Oh, that's cool. Did you guys see that? From a distance, all of these things are like kind of animating at 12 FPS or, or something like that, probably to save on CPU, which is pretty cool. I'm sure that will come in handy. Here, I'll show you it in a second. Yeah, see, look at that. Cool. It is kind of like jittery. See that? But that's on purpose. That's good. That means it's been hopefully optimized well. I've never made a factory big enough to really run into those issues, but I'm hoping that's going to happen with this game. So now you can see how awesome this chainsaw is. You see, if I if I pick up 
this wood or leaves by hands. I have to press E every time I want to pick stuff up. And it doesn't really give me that much, but if I use my chainsaw... Oh my god, look at that. I got 245 leaves in one go. I can also do it in this area, I think. Yes! Woohoo! Holy crap! That was a lot. So much stuff. And a lot of wood. Wood goes a little uh, further than leaves do as well. Oh my god, we're just gonna destroy this entire forest because it feels so good and because we can. Wee hoo! Yes! Oh, hi, buddy. Sorry, I'm just like destroying your home for my selfish purposes uh, for nothing other than my own entertainment. So, uh, you were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Sorry, not sorry. Ooh, grab some berries there. Yeah, I want to make sure to not chop down the berries because I want that to replenish itself. I do believe, unless something changed, all of this uh, all of this vegetation will eventually grow back. So don't feel too bad about it, I guess. But we'll find out. If we come back to this pond later and there's just like a huge empty area, then uh, we'll know that we have... Oh, God! Shit! No, I don't want it. I don't want it. No, 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 no. That thing is mad at me and... Ah! Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm screaming for no reason. So sorry about that. Uh, I, I heard the noise of our base shutting down, which is also no good. But I thought that creature was like shooting at me. I don't even know why I'm so scared because this game isn't even permadeath. So it's really dumb that I'm scared of that thing right now. But he was very unhappy with me destroying his forest, rightfully so. I would have deserved whatever was coming to me, but fortunately, we escaped this time. But yeah, if you die, you just, like, respawn. I can't even remember if you actually, like, lose all of your uh, inventory stuff or not. I don't remember, but anyway, let's find out whether something just ran out of power or did we, like, overdo something. Okay, we just ran out of power. So I have this handy dandy biofuel now that I can put in there and hopefully that will last a little longer. I'm just gonna steal that from you and turn that into some better fuel. So for now, I'm just making this by hand, but that's probably gonna be the next thing we wanna set up is some constructors to make this biofuel for us. Fortunately, we don't have to have any sort of like smelters or anything, but at this point, we will have to supply them by hand. What I like to do is actually like set up a storage box and then, oops, I forgot to turn this back on here. Um, set up a storage box and then you can put like hundreds of wood or just biofuel I guess or you can put just the leaves in and then have the leaves go to a constructor turn them into biomass and then the biomass can be turned into biofuel so that is what we're going to want to do in order to save us time from having to like sit here and manually do that but that is going to be for next episode as I feel this has reached a pretty good stopping point, and we have had a fairly successful day. And now we get to go down, go chop down habitats of native creatures, and it feels so good and so bad at the same time. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. And until next time, stay foxy.